Let's talk about liquids. There are two liquid sounds in English. They are o and er. They can be the, some of the most problematic sounds for some of our students. They can be the last sounds that students learn to articulate and produce in speech. They can be particularly difficult to teach in speech therapy because there's no clear beginning and ending sound for those liquid sounds. The er can be tricky because it just, it depends. We can articulate it differently depending on where it is at in the beginning or the end of a word. For instance, try these two pairs. Say rock and where. Do you feel the difference? In most cases, liquids are voiced sounds unless they follow um, an unvoiced consonant in a blend such as plank and prank. Liquids are challenging for speakers, readers, and for writers.